Welcome to JSA TV, the newsroom for tech and telecom professionals. I'm Jamie Scott Okataya here at Telecom Exchange New York City 2017. Couldn't be more excited to be at the lovely Cipriani's with my friend, Mr. Jeff Brown. He is Windstream's Director of Product Management and Marketing. Jeff, welcome to JSA TV. Yeah, thanks, thanks, Jamie. Glad to be here. Glad to have you here. And thank you also for your support of Telecom Exchange. We greatly appreciate it. Yeah, it's been a successful event for us, and we're also looking forward to the West Coast event later this year. We can't wait for Tex LA November. Um, so, talking, um, since the Director of Marketing, Windstream, is, is right here next to me, uh, SD Now product, which, by the way, love, love that brand. Um, tell us about your recent SD Now news and uh, what it means for Windstream. Sure, absolutely. Uh, so, SDN Now is really a umbrella product announcement. It's the first product at the optical layer that um, heralds our adoption of uh, SDN provision services. So over the last couple of years, if you've followed Windstream, we've been very busy investing in our long haul uh, core transport network. So we are now one of a small handful of people that truly provide nationwide services from the Bay Area all the way to Boston from one gig to 100 gig. Uh, in addition, we've been uh, investing in adding to the major carrier neutral data centers so we can provide access to cloud connectivity. As a next step in that evolution, we've actually taken our uh, internal network through uh, SDN, um, digital transformation. So actually with the product that we're offering now with SDN now, now we have customers that are utilizing one gig and 10 gig services between major data centers. So we're in the process of being able to offer customers uh, public, uh, hybrid, and uh, uh, private cloud connectivity services. This is the first step in an evolution to be able to uh, offer customers uh, dynamic cloud connectivity to customer prems, leveraging the extensive uh, depth and breadth of the Windstream network. Dynamic cloud connectivity to customer prems. Just, just uh, digesting this because this is this is latest greatest stuff, and uh, couldn't be more excited. From the Bay Area to Boston, I love. I mean. Right. Windstream. So, talking about Windstream, you have a real niche in the industry. Can you uh, give our viewers a little bit more? Yeah, absolutely. Um, with the uh, Verizon XO and CenturyLink Level 3 acquisitions completed, we'll be the fifth largest carrier in terms of fiber miles in the U.S. And really, you know, the preferred carrier of choice that people don't necessarily have to do business with. So, um, through our you know, 15,000 on net uh, locations plus our data center coverage reach and our extensive network, uh, we're positioning ourselves to be uh, the true you know, national provider of choice a and the SDN Now services are actually gonna give customers very tangible benefits in terms of accelerated service delivery, uh, um, real time capability to, uh, to uh, turn up bandwidth between major data centers and then, uh, you know, the next steps in that launch will be layer two and layer three services out to the customer prem, and then additional feature functionality that we think uh, certain verticals in the market will be attracted to, like service chaining and virtual CP, et cetera. Oh, gosh. Yeah, so talking about that, verticals, what are the cl clients that you cater to? Yeah, uh, Windstream's a Fortune 500 company, so we do business with, uh, you know, half a million different uh, business customers and uh, a thousand plus wholesale customers. So uh, anybody who needs high bandwidth transport, so here in the New York area, uh, finance companies, uh, media, uh, web scale, uh, content providers, as well as traditional network operators, wireless carriers, wireline carriers, foreign carriers, all do business with Windstream. Not only do we, can we provide services extensively throughout the U.S. and to lower tier markets, but we also have connectivity to a lot of the major landing stations where international traffic comes into the U.S. so we could provide transport back to those major peering points in the U.S. Amazing. And um, you're, you've been so consistent with your unbelievable growth story year after year. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Sure. You know, we've been very busy um, acquiring a number of companies over the years and then uh, putting in the effort to really integrate those. So most recently, uh, in the last 12 months, we've uh, purchased Earthlink and Broadview Networks. So uh, we're in the process of integrating both of those companies. So essentially our positioning is it will be one of the main uh, national players in the U.S. that no matter what segment you're in, you'll have a need to do business with us. If you're an SMB mid-market, you can leverage our UCAS services, uh, many of which will be 
um, taking advantage of the broad, broad view portfolio. Uh, if you're higher end, you can certainly utilize our nationwide MPLS network, our IP services, our uh, hosted services, as well as our transport network. And then clearly in the wholesale space, we're one of the big providers for wholesale transport, uh, MEF 2.0 compliant, carry ethernet, as well as all the traditional legacy services that carriers need. So that leads me to my next tough question for you. <laughs> Looking in your crystal ball, what can you tell us about where Windstream might be heading in the next six to 12 months? Yeah, I mean, my particular area of focus is on further developing our SDN Now product uh, portfolio. So initially, we've got layer one optical services between major data centers. Later this summer, you'll see 56 locations that we can offer these services to. Um, after that, it will be layer two and layer three services out to the customer prem. Um, it, all of this involves using a uh, multi-domain service orchestrator. We use Blue Planet. Uh, today, we can interface with multiple uh, transport uh, third-party SDN controllers, and we're starting to work with those layer two and layer three uh, major vendors to get uh, their third-party controllers interoperating uh, with our with our Blue Planet so that we can provide a truly orchestrated SDN environment. So over the next 12 months, I think that's where you'll see real products come out the door that customers can leverage to give them real benefits, especially in terms of uh, quick install uh, turn up, and then things like uh, bandwidth on demand or bandwidth calendaring. That layer two, layer three, that's really... Uh that's really something. So for our viewers who want to learn more, where can they go? Right now, it's carrier.windstreambusiness.com. As part of our Earthlink merger, we're actually relaunching our, our uh, Windstream Wholesale website. So we now own the URL, windstreamwholesale.com. It will actually be up the week of July 4th. So no later than July 7th, you can go to windstreamwholesale.com. If you still go to the carrier.windstream.business, it'll redirect to them for several months. Oh, exciting news. Can't wait for that launch as well. Okay, well, thank you, Jeff, yeah, thanks, for Jeff. your time here. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in to JSA TV. Happy networking.